I want to share with you a letter that we sent to the Supreme Court, each individual judge, mm -hmm. as a result of their wicked decision. Gino Jennings boldly extends an invitation to the Supreme Court, challenging every judge to engage in a televised dialogue. This monumental event aims to delve into the profound reasoning behind the landmark decision to legalize same-sex marriage. With passion and conviction, Jennings seeks to unravel the intricate layers of thought and principle that guided the esteemed judges to their historic ruling. Through this electrifying forum, he envisions an enlightening exchange that will not only illuminate the legal landscape but also spark meaningful conversations across society. He sheds light on the profound dissonance it creates within communities anchored in the steadfast principles of biblical teachings. The decision to legalize same-sex marriage sends shockwaves through the very foundation of churches that staunchly uphold the sacred institution of marriage as exclusively between a man and a woman. Jennings articulates the deep-seated concerns that reverberate within these faith communities, where adherence to scriptural doctrine is not merely a matter of tradition but a fundamental tenet of spiritual identity. The ruling not only challenges their beliefs but also threatens to undermine the integrity of the scriptures and the very essence of their religious freedom. Moreover, Jennings underscores the ripple effect of this ruling, which extends far beyond the realm of law and governance. It infiltrates the sanctity of family units, redefining the very essence of familial bonds and parental roles. The erosion of traditional values, he argues, breeds confusion and discord, leaving countless individuals grappling with the moral and ethical implications of societal evolution. Gino Jennings passionately conveyed that many churches shy away from boldly standing up for God's truth and righteousness. He firmly believes that the reluctance to speak out against homosexuality stems from the financial support they receive from the government for their various programs and initiatives. According to Jennings, this fear of losing funding has silenced their voices on important moral issues. He emphasizes the critical importance of courageously upholding biblical principles, regardless of any potential financial repercussions. Jennings challenges believers to prioritize God's truth above all else, urging them to boldly proclaim it despite any opposition they may face. I want to share with you a letter that we sent to the Supreme Court, each individual judge, mm -hmm. as a result of their wicked decision. Mm. Right. All right, let's get the letter we sent to the Supreme Court. To the Chief and Associate Justices of the Supreme Court of the United States, we write this letter of concern over the ruling in which same-sex marriages are now legal and recognized in all 50 states. We are Assembly of Holiness, and as our tenets of belief are based upon Holy Scriptures, we must go on record as stating that we are in total disagreement with this ruling. We do understand that the ruling has been published and is available for public viewing. However, we would like to invite each of the justices to participate in a televised discussion with us so that you may each speak plainly on your views and thoughts which have led to this court ruling. As a country in which the official motto is, quote, in God we trust, we cannot understand how this <coughs> ruling, which now impacts our entire country, can be in agreement with the very one who first defined marriage as concerning between a man and a woman. So you see, either God is right in his manner, or the court is. But this contradictory to herald in God we trust when we defining of our acts of marriage by the highest court in the land offers a direct challenge to the original author of it. We are aware that there were four dissenters in the ruling, Chief Justice Roberts, Chief Justice Scalia, Chief Justice Thomas, and Chief Justice Alasso, Alito, beg your pardon. And we recognize that their reasons for dissent may not be exactly the same as our reasons for disagreement. So we would also like to invite the justices who gave dissenting opinions to the aforementioned discussion to share their thoughts on the matter publicly. In closing, we would like to make mention of the chant which is stated at the opening of your sessions. It includes the words, quote, God save the United States and this honorable court. Are these words merely stated for rhetorical purposes and dramatic polls, or do we all as a nation truly desire God to save us from the decisions and opinions which oppose the very one to whom we reference? God save us indeed. We look forward to hearing from you in hopes that we might have this open dialogue. 
you may contact us in, by the email address in the tele and telephone number given in the letterhead. Please also feel free to visit our website at www.truthofgod.com to learn more about our organization. We thank you in advance for your time and attention. Yours sincerely, Pastor Gino Jennings, General Overseer. In the wake of this legal upheaval, Jennings champions the cause of those who stand unwavering in their commitment to biblical truths, providing a rallying cry for solidarity and resilience in the face of adversity. He calls upon the faithful to fortify their resolve, emboldened by the timeless wisdom of Scripture and fortified by the unwavering love of their Creator. Through his impassioned plea, Jennings ignites a fervent call to action, urging believers to stand firm in their convictions, even as the winds of change threaten to sweep them off course. In the crucible of adversity, he sees an opportunity for the faithful to emerge stronger, united by their unwavering faith and steadfast devotion to the timeless truths that have guided them through the ages. While many argue that the legalization of same-sex marriage by the Supreme Court was a significant step towards equality, some also argue it had negative impacts. One contention is that it infringed on religious freedom, leading to conflicts between religious beliefs and legal obligations. Additionally, opponents argue it undermined the traditional institution of marriage and family values. Furthermore, there were concerns about potential consequences for children raised by same-sex couples, although opponents argue that research generally suggests these concerns are unfounded. Another point of contention is the potential erosion of societal norms and traditions. Some argue that legalizing same-sex marriage could lead to further redefinition of marriage, potentially opening the door to other non-traditional forms of marriage. This can fuel fears about the destabilization of the institution of marriage and its role in society. Moreover, there have been concerns raised about the impact on education and children's upbringing. Opponents of same-sex marriage legalization argue that it may influence the curriculum in schools, introducing materials or discussions that contradict certain religious or cultural beliefs about marriage and family. Additionally, some worry about children growing up without exposure to traditional gender roles, though this concern is also debated among experts. Despite these concerns, proponents of same-sex marriage legalization argue that it promotes equality, strengthens families, and provides legal protections for couples and their children. They emphasize the importance of recognizing and respecting diverse forms of love and commitment in society. Ultimately, the debate over the negative impacts of legalizing same-sex marriage reflects deeper societal tensions around issues of identity, morality, and the role of government in regulating personal relationships. Gino Jennings fearlessly proclaims the unadulterated truth about the sins prevalent in our world today. With unwavering conviction, he boldly confronts individuals, whether they be judges, government officials, or celebrities, who stray from the principles set forth by God. His uncompromising stance and resolute determination make him a beacon of righteousness, a man who was chosen by God to preach the truth in our time. In a world plagued by moral decay and spiritual indifference, Gino Jennings emerges as a powerful voice, calling all to repentance and adherence to the sacred teachings of God. His impassioned sermons reverberate with the urgency of a prophet, stirring hearts and awakening consciences to the gravity of their actions. With every word, he ignites a flame of righteousness, challenging society to reflect on its values and realign its priorities with the will of the Almighty. Gino Jennings embodies courage in the face of adversity, unyielding in his commitment to speak truth to power and unafraid to confront the forces of darkness that seek to obscure the path to salvation. In a world hungry for authenticity and hungry for righteousness, his uncompromising message serves as a guiding light, leading souls out of the shadows of sin and into the radiance of God's grace. Truly, he stands as a God-fearing man in a world desperate for redemption. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.